Tell me why. He has a wallet, a huge silly thing, leather, real leather, I think. He packs it full of stuff, business cards, receipts, lottery tickets. He always carries it in his back pocket. I think that's why he's got a bad back. He sets the discs. I haven't seen it, so he must have it on him. He always takes it out of his back pocket before when he comes in, if he's in the house. Okay. I think this interview, she freaks out a lot. I mean, I don't know. Something must have happened to him on his way home. He could be hurt. I mean, why hasn't he phoned? I just, I don't know. Oh, I just noticed the date. This is why she seems so, like, distraught. This is the first interview, or the earliest interview, I think. The 25th of... Shoot, no, this is the first one. Yeah, so why is she distraught after the fact? I don't understand. Huh. I don't understand why... Maybe I'm mixing up the interview days. Well... She has a knife. Uh, um, she's been cooking. I guess. She's been cooking him his favorite meal. Um, she's his wife. And he's asleep and she doesn't want to wake him because he's ill. That's why she's sad. Because he's ill and he might die. It's kind of a sad story, so I'm not sure it is. I bet you do. God, I don't know. Could be anyone. Maybe someone follows him back from the pub. But why would you let them in? Doesn't make sense. <sighs> Alright, let's find out what exactly happened and why the body had a slit throat. Mother wanted me to grow my hair long, but I kept cutting it myself. I wanted to look like my reflection. She always had short hair when she was little. Mother would hide the scissors, but I would find a way. Cut it with a bread knife, something like that. My reflection would always leave her house and go on adventures, but I never could. Mother taught me at home, and I had books and TV. Oh, TV was magical, but it was only on when it wanted to be, so I spent a lot of time reading books. And thus became obsessed with fairy tales. All right. So she calls Florence her mother. Uh, yeah, Florence is her mother. Not biological mother, maybe, but a mother. Why kill, though? Let's say sister dead. Death? Sister dead. Sister die. Sister kill? No. Reflection. Looks like we got a hit. Silver leaf? No. And he normally silvers them properly. This mirror, it's supposed to look antique. The reflection isn't as good. It's the perfect mirror for someone who doesn't like to look at their own reflection. She doesn't like to look at her own reflection because it's not the little reflection she wants, yo. Yes. The first time we saw each other, it was strange. We both realized at the same moment, I think. 
We must have seen each other before, but there was this instant when we first realised it wasn't a reflection. The reflection was staring back. I think I was five. It was my birthday. My reflection was wearing a party hat and waving. I knew what party hats were from books. And it suddenly occurred to me, today must be my birthday. I waved back and we just spent ages waving at each other and copying each other's movements. I gotta admit, for all the weird craziness that's coming out of uh, this game, I kind of like her. She's got a good sense of humor. Really good sense of humor. But, um, yeah, my confidence about my conclusions have, have officially gone through the roof. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm right. I wanted to see my reflection. I thought that if I touched her, something would happen. We would become one. One girl. The fairy tale was over, the witch was dead, and I'd be restored to my rightful place. All right, who's the witch and how did she die? Miss Rapunzel. The story starts when she's born. Mother Gothel, a witch, takes Rapunzel from her parents and keeps her locked up in this tower. Rapunzel gets pregnant by the prince, and Mother Gothel is furious, so she cuts off her hair and throws it. Actually, her hair's already short here, so that's already happened. She throws her into the wilderness, and Rapunzel is reunited with the prince, who's blind, but she kills him with her tears and so it's a happy ending. <laughs> Is that too much? Uh-huh. Oh fuck dude. Oh my god, the motherfucking symbolism. That little giggle and how the hair is already short, so that's not a problem. That's already done. It's it's basically she's basically like identifying her own life within these blot tests. She sees herself as the Rapunzel, Florence is the witch that took her away, and the prince is blind because he doesn't see the truth between the two twin sisters, or he doesn't see the truth about how this one in particular feels about him. But then again, I don't think she really loves him. She probably is more in love with her twin sister's life. Yeah. What were these? I wanted to see- Oh, the witch is dead. That was the common- What was this one? Fairy tales. Stories about lost princesses. Okay. How did Florence die? Okay, tell me more about Florence. Five entries. Never mind, no need to look up Florence anymore. Seen them all. Seen them all. Now, if I only can figure out a way to goddamn watch everything chronologically, we still need to know what, or we know Simon's dead, but I want to know why. Let's look up these. Simon dead. That's all that matters really. The baby. Simon's dead. But the baby. That's how he will live on. Our baby. Right. So in the fairy tale, the prince goes up to the tower and bangs Rapunzel and then she's pregnant, right? Maybe that's the Grimm's fairy tale version. I don't remember uh, my Rapunzel story 
I don't remember anybody getting pregnant. So maybe Simon actually had sex with this one and that's how she got pregnant? Like I said before, it was three, something like that. I walked in, saw Simon. It was on the floor of the living room. His throat had been cut. There was a lot of blood. Instead. Who's that image that keeps showing up? I know I keep searching these same terms over and over, but I, I just, I, how do I find out uh, this kind of information? What, the, what is the backwards way to figure this shit out? Simon's baby. We spent the wedding night in a hotel in Brighton. It would have been too much to do more. We were saying for the baby. It was wonderful to be in a hotel, away from home, just alone together. Since then, we've always tried to get away for our holiday. Okay. I noticed a bruise on her face. In this series of interviews, or interview videos, the bruise is on the left side. But in another series of videos, the bruise is on the right side. We couldn't afford our own place. Simon dropped out of school, went full time at the Glaziers. That was Eric's generosity. We moved in with his mum and dad. They had a spare room for us and the baby, if it came. It was a nice change, time to myself, living there for those months, full of hope. Oh, okay, I was freaking out about how she said if it came, like as if she was planning having like a miscarriage, but she's probably saying if it came because right now it's after the fact. She's already had a miscarriage. Yes. It was a shock to him. I mean, we never thought it was possible. I don't know what he... I mean, I hadn't decided whether to keep the baby. I wasn't really ready to talk to him about it. What the fuck? Was she planning to abort? But she seemed- okay, you know what? Like, she tried so hard to get pregnant and then... Oh. She tried so hard to get pregnant because she wanted to take her sister's place, but once she did take her sister's place... Did she even want to have it? Or maybe, oh, because this is before the confession interview. Maybe she was just trying to tell the cops the story um, in order to cover up for having a twin sister and sharing one life with her because she couldn't get pregnant, but her sister did. So having an abortion would be the only way for the two of them to continue swapping back and forth. Nothing new. Shit. All right, let's look at Bruce. Bruce? Oh, yeah, no, it's nothing. I was going through the top cupboard in my kitchen and the chair slipped and I kind of hit the door with my face. We had like hell. <laughs> cupboard over here, door over there. <laughs> of course. The Bruce. 
I have a really fast metabolism, so stuff like that just comes and goes. I don't know if there's much more that I can tell you, but I haven't already told the other policemen. I found the body. I... June 27th for that one. June 25th for that one. Things just come and go, huh? The bruise was originally on her left side in this interview, and then it swapped to the right side in that interview. Let's find out the truth. If one of us got hurt, the other one would have to be hurt too. A grazed knee, a bruise. When I lost my tooth first, we had to pull our harness to match. Once, I slept with a boy who was seeing another girl. The girlfriend came up to Hannah the next day and punched her in the face, gave her a huge black eye. That night, she had to do the same to me. But she always went too far. I couldn't see out of that eye for days. She snuck a frozen piece up from me from the kitchen. Mm. So much of our bodies were synchronised anyway. We started our period on the same day. All our childhood diseases, stomach bugs, nits. Oh, what a sister. That's sisterly love right there, I guess. I don't really know. But I, I was freaking out because, well, not only did my idea, my theory, got like, get confirmed straight up, it's pretty cool that they would go that far. I was freaking out because I finally realized why in some interviews she acts real skittish and in the other interviews she's fine. It's because this actress is playing two different people right now. Like, she's freaking out Please. in this one. Oh yeah, no, it's nothing. I was going through the top cupboard in my kitchen and the chair slipped and I kind of hit the door with my face. <laughs> right? This series of interviews she has her hair tied back, but in a lot of the other interviews she looks really relaxed with her hair tied down. Both of the twins are still around and they're coming in and out for their for their interviews. That's why she has a bruise on the wrong side. They're probably worried about what's been happening. I don't know if the police have busted them before the confession interviews. Maybe they have by the time the the Hannah in the white blouse comes in and you know reveals all. But yeah, it looks like in the in the early interviews, they were swapping back and forth still. Like, this Hannah is freaking out about a lot of stuff. She's the one who like, constantly touches her face and is fidgety. While this one is pretty relaxed about everything. Differences? She's a better driver than me. She passed the test for us. I tried to take it and nearly crashed the car. <laughs> Learn that you can't rely on confidence to get you through everything. Mm, she is the shy one. She was especially shy around boys. If Hannah liked a boy, I would have to pursue him. It was that way with Carl. Hannah met him first. She had such a crush. I let him take my virginity after the night that his band had played at. It got difficult. When I was with Carl, we would have sex, but Hannah couldn't. Couldn't let him see she was a virgin. She had lots of excuses. After a while, we decided that I should take Hannah's virginity. It's not that different to a bruise, pulling a tooth, a graze. We used a hairbrush. After that, we took him in turns, though. I was always the one who seduced the boys. Until Simon. Wow. Wait, could you? I don't know the technicalities about the V-card, but I don't know if it counts if it's through the, an object. I don't know. Fuck it. Well, that's not, I'm not going to even worry about it. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. That's, that's intense. That's fucking intense. Well, I guess, I mean, she wanted her sister's life. This was nine, about nine. I went round and she was waiting for me. 
She was furious and so angry, the kind of anger you could only have towards yourself. We screamed at each other, argued, cried, we fought. I hit her back, left a bruise. I had my wig on from performing and she tore it off. Eventually, we grew tired of fighting and I left. The shifting sounds in this game are quite, quite good at building an ambiance. It's like I feel like uh, whoever I'm playing as is shifting in my chair, but also creeps me out a little bit too. Like something's about to pop up right behind me as I'm getting way too into it. watching these videos. Now, which sister was it that said she never wore a wig? Oh sh god damn it. Yep. No, I've never worn a wig. What kind of wig? That's why she tripped out about the what kind of wig, because her sister wore the wig. And this is the Hannah with the hair tied back. This is the shy skittish sister. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, what the fuck? I hadn't- Okay, so I was like, reading carefully through this readme text, and then the really readme text, thinking that maybe there's a clue in there to figure out how to possibly, um, look at everything chronologically. Uh, that's- is that- that's not today's date. That's not really today's date, is it? No, it's not. Several days late. What is this database checker thing? Volume missing? Refresh, refresh. Uh, I guess that's all the... Oh, cool! I can move stuff around even! That's pretty badass. Why did you kill Simon? Tell me why. I told her it was one of my boyfriends, someone I had met in the bar. I think she was happy. But I could tell she was thinking, why couldn't it happen to her and Simon? They were the ones with the real life. Why not them? Pregnancy. Pregnancy. She got pregnant by someone she found in a bar, is that why? What?